Through all the fads and trends in fashion, there's always one style that is timeless. A brother in a suit. Fellas, look, I promise you that women may love you when you're thugging it up in the hoodies and the Tims, but we crave you in a suit. You go to steveharvey.com, you can see them. All the store locations across the country. It's like 700 stores that carry the collection, so you can get your man looking right That's almost good. immediately. <laughs> Thank you, Steve Harvey. Let's everybody give it up for Steve Harvey. That's right. From Hollywood, it's Jimmy Kimmel Live. <laughs> In case you're wondering, the reason I look so sharp tonight, our guest Steve Harvey gave me a suit. Wow. That's right. Yeah. That's from, the, uh, from the Steve Harvey suit collection right there. Look at that. The inside. Right. This is not that cheap Cedric the Entertainer crap. This is the good stuff. <laughs> Please say hello to the greatest thing to ever happen to the dry cleaning industry, Steve Harvey. <laughs> That's good. How you, you look good, no man. No one else brings me suits, and I really do appreciate I gotta, it. I like people when they dress up, man. Yeah. Do you, you dress up to do the radio show? Some, yeah, mostly, yeah. Mostly, really? I, don't, I have nothing else. I don't have jeans, so. You really? You don't have any at all? Maybe yeah. I'll get you some of my brand, Jimmy Jeans. <laughs> be nice, right? <laughs> be a nice trade-off. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a little hard to pull them up, I can tell you that. <laughs> You know, we come with extra butt. You might not be able to slide them up. Now, living in Texas, as you did, were you ever concerned that you would be potentially shot by the vice president? 
Because <laughs> that is a real fear over was there. Was that funny or what? I mean, <laughs> it wasn't funny, but you got to understand, folks, when the vice president of your country shoots somebody, that's like a gift from God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is. This is like manna from heaven. The vice president, who I really don't like anyway, <laughs> gives me this great moment and shoots somebody. Uh, <laughs> I mean, how, the, all I learned from this whole thing was got to be an age limit on hunting now. <laughs> somebody got to have a cutoff point. You're over 55, you can't hunt. Because I don't know how old your ass is to mistake a six-foot dude <laughs> with an orange vest on for a quail. <laughs> Yeah, I know. You, I know you've been eating him up with this thing. Uh, yeah, well, it's you know what? It really is one of those things. Like you kind of feel bad for the guy, but not even close to as good as you feel for yourself and you know, and everybody else at the show. Well, see, when you do comedy, you can't worry about the whole story. <laughs> I don't know the dude that got shot, so the hell. Is I it? just keep him out of it. <laughs> That's right. The president shooting. The only the, the part that I kept waiting on was I know that they had searched that whole ranch for a black guy that they could blame. <laughs> I don't know. I, I promise you that. <laughs> it's a good way of looking at it. Our next guest recently returned to his stand-up roots with a new show called Don't Trip, He Ain't Through With Me Yet. Take a look. Because if I'd ever told my mama to bite me, oh, Lord, oh, hell would have broke loose in that mall. It would have been Armageddon in that mall. My mama would have came through there on a three-headed horse with some sixes on her head. She'd have killed everybody. Please welcome back a very funny Steve Harvey. Snappy dresser, always looking very, very, very cool. Well, you know, when you've been poor as long as me, it's kind of refreshing to just have some cash to go buy stuff at the store. Uh-huh. So I just try to do that <laughs> well, as look, often as possible. You look nice. You look great. I hey, love being here. I like you a lot. I think you're funny to thank me. You. But you crack me up. Thank you. You crack me up, too. Then, then we should be paid. Yes. <laughs> Steve Harvey, so tomorrow's our big Mardi Gras show. You have any advice for me when we throw our Mardi Gras show here? Are you going to go? No, we're having it here. Oh, OK. Well, yeah. I've been a couple of times, you know, just, you can ask for beads, but don't, don't like pull up your top to get them, you know. <laughs> it's not gonna go good for you, Ellen. No. <laughs> you're very famous at this point. You're gonna, you're gonna be on the internet for sale. Oh, God. Okay. So don't lift my shirt up. No. Okay. If, uh, I will put you on the internet for that kind of cash. All right. I gotta let you know. I do. I love you, but you worth a lot of money on the internet. Yeah, yeah okay. This here for some uh, beads, Ellen. Uh huh. And you got money too. It's yeah, really yeah. just. <laughs> well, we talk about that every time I come yeah, here. Well, I'll uh, lift my shirt up. No, we've never had that discussion no. before. Just, <laughs> I've had it in my head a couple yeah. times, but <laughs> never really just like shot it out there. Uh, nothing. Okay, you're right. touching me. I, watch All out. Right. <laughs> That's the spot that'll get it. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, is, is that one right that's there? That's the one right there. Oh, man. This one is OK. Oh, OK. But this one'll right. get you, yeah, see, All that's right. safe. Yeah. Cause that one'll get you a car. All right. Yeah, All that'll, right. Get, that'll get you a car. What kind of car? <laughs> 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 All right. This right here is a Mercedes. Uh-huh. <laughs> In this area, uh, that's Maybach Phantom country uh, right there. That's, yeah, that's the big one. I love one. the Phantoms. Well, yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really thinking about the car. Yeah. Um, <laughs> me too. That's right. what's tipping me yeah. out. Yeah. I, I have a very special surprise for the audience uh, when we come back. We'll be right back. Don't go away. See? I love you.